Kia ora, Year 12 and 13. Um, I'm going to do the question in the 2015 paper about getting a ladder around the corner. Now from students I talked to who did last year's paper, this was probably their least favourite of all of the questions. It's a variation on an old classic um, and as usual getting started is the hardest part. So let's give it a go. Alright, this is the problem and they give you a very nice diagram which is going to make it quite doable. A corridor is two meters wide and at the end it turns 90 degrees into another corridor. So here's the 90 degree angle there. Okay, what's the minimum width, W, here, of the second corridor if a ladder of length five meters can be carried horizontally around the corner? So you might want to try playing around with this problem just maybe with a pencil and a piece of paper or you could go and find a ladder somewhere at home. I don't recommend the find, finding the ladder. But we know that the ladder is 5 metres. And we can see by looking at the picture that we've got two nice right angle triangles in here. So you've got to be guessing that trig will be our friend. So there's the two triangles. The angle here has got to be the same because the ladder doesn't bend. So this is my angle A here, and it's got to be angle A here. I can split my ladder up now into the part that is still not around the corner with the part that is getting to the other side. I'm going to call this bit X, and I'm going to call this bit 5 minus X. So we can see that if the corridor is really, really skinny, then there's no way that I can get my 5 metres around without busting a hole in the wall. So that's what we're looking for. We're trying to minimise the value of W. So we're not any the wiser so far, except we're thinking that we, if we're trying to minimise something, we want to get an expression W equals blah, 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 and then we're going to differentiate W with respect to something, and we'll set it equal to zero. So on the next slide, I'm going to put what we can onto our diagram and start looking for either Pythagoras, Trig, or similar triangles to help us out. All right, so here's a bigger version of the diagram. Um, what have we got? Well, we'll make this bit here x, okay? And this can be 5 minus x. We know that this length is 2, and this is a right angle. So for my top triangle, I can start to see a year 11 trig equation. And for this one, same thing, this is my angle, this is my hypotenuse, and this is something. So let's just see what we can write down. All right, we're still not really sure where we're heading, but we're looking for an expression for W. So from the first one, the cosine of angle A is equal to A over H, so cos A equals 2 over X. So we can do that. Okay, can we say something about the next triangle? Yes, we can. We can say sine of A is equal to O over H. So sine of A is equal to W over 5 minus X. Okay, let's see if we're starting to have a strategy for figuring out the minimum width of the corridor. Well, remember we said we'd like to get W equals blah, blah, blah. Now we've got something with X's and A's in it. So let's try and see if we can... Let's write W. W is equal to 5 minus X times sine A. Now, we've got two variables in there. We can't have that because we're in year 13 and we just need one variable to differentiate. So it would be very nice if we could do something with this to substitute into here. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to rewrite this to get x is equal to 2 over cos a. Now we're going to take that and we're going to substitute that into here. So we get w is equal to 5 minus 2 over cos a sine A. Right, so we've actually done the really hard setup part of the problem is now over and we still need to use our brains a little bit but it's it's not so bad from here on. So you might want to pause the video now and just see if you can get to the end of the problem without me. Um, that's great if you can. 
otherwise I'll keep going on a new slide. Okay, so we've got W equals 5 minus, where are we? 5 minus 2 over cos A, sine A. I'm going to expand that. W is equal to 5 sine A minus 2 sine A over cos A. So the width of the corridor is equal to 5 sine A minus 2 tan A. Right, as we vary the angle, we'll get a different corridor width. If we want to minimize the width, we're going to have dw by dA is equal to 5 cosine A minus 2 sec squared A. So we want that to be equal to 0 for a min or max. Let's take a look. Okay, new slide I think. So 5 cos A minus 2 sec squared A equals 0. Doesn't look very nice until we remember what sec is. So 5 cos A minus 2 over cos squared A equals 0. Multiply everything through um, by cos squared and we get 5 cos cubed A minus 2 equals 0. So we should be starting to get a little bit excited at this point because we've got cos cubed of A now is equal to 2 fifths or 0 0.4 for all you decimal fans. So cos of A is going to equal 0 0.4, the cube root of 0 0.4. Right, um, get your calculator and do that and you should find, what do we get for that? I've got that written down. Um, so that gives us 0 0.4. 7368. So that's the cosine. Right, next step is to find the angle. We've got the cosine, we need to get the inverse of the cosine. Okay, so cos A equals 0.7368. A is equal to cos inverse of that. And that works out to be 42.5. Four degrees, right? The first useful bit of information we've got. Um, I haven't got the diagram again, but I'll try and draw it quickly. Because you can see what we're saying is that if we've got two meters here and we've got um, a five meter ladder, that angle, the critical value for the angle is 42.54 degrees, right? So if we have the angle of 42.54 degrees, that means that this bit plus this bit are going to get through, get around the corner without making a hole in the wall. Now we just have to use that angle and say if the angle is 42.54 there, what's this and what's this? So we're going to do some substituting back. That's A. What was X? Well, X was equal to 2 over cos A. So X is equal to... Um, 2 over 0.7368, which works out to be 2.7144. Right, so now we're getting the two bits of my ladder. The first bit up here, if we want that width to be as narrow as possible, will be just over half, 2.7144. And this leftover bit down here will be 5 minus that. So we don't actually need to work that out, but we can. So that's going to be 2.2 something. 2.2856, I think. So what's W? Well, W was equal to 5 minus X sine A. Oh, sorry, of course, we do need that. Right, so this bit here is the 5 minus X. Right? Um, new slide again. W equals 5 minus X sine A. So that was my 2.28. 566, so my shorter bit of ladder, times sine of, sine of something, what was my angle, sine of 42.54 degrees, and that works out to be 1.55 metres, so there you go. So really the, the worst bit is setting it up and seeing that 
I've got these two triangles here. That really is a triangle. This is my angle A. This is the same one. And then off we go with what is really, um, the first bit is really year 11 um, trig. There's nothing worse than that. Okay, and then the next bit is to link it back and say, how does W link in and substitute? All right, um, if you've got questions on that, um, send me an email. People who are doing scholarship, you might want to um, Google some other teachers' um, explanations of this because there are some different ways to think about it. The other classic that comes up is where you're not given the length of the ladder and you're t given a corridor structure and you're asked the other way around what's the longest ladder that you can get through the corner. Okay, and um, Delta has got this problem in one of the extension exercises, right? So even though this is almost sure not to turn up in this year's exam now, it's still really good practice for an optimization problem. Thanks for watching.